Hesselhead Wildlife Rescue in Beath, North Ayrshire, is one of the busiest wildlife hospitals in the country and cares for many animals, from pigeons to peregrines and from otters to deer. However, today's patient is a wee bit more unusual and rarely spotted in the hospital. We're going to meet a wee baby badger cub. So today we've come back down to Hesselhead Wildlife Rescue in North Ayrshire to meet a very special patient indeed. Now we don't normally see them, it's hard to see out in the wild and we don't see them often here in the hospital and you can probably guess what they are by the love that <laughs> Hayley has for them. <laughs> nice badger t-shirt and a wee badger, wee badger fluffy toy here as well. You, you a fan Hayley? Yeah, yeah, a wee bit, a wee bit, you know. I like my foxes, but badgers, yeah, they pip the post. Badgers are winning, <laughs> so all that's left to do, I think, is go and meet the baby badger. The badger cub was found abandoned outside its set, dehydrated and lonely, near the Lockerbie area. Thankfully, a member of the public spotted the wee cub in trouble and brought it to be cared for at Hesselhead. So okay, Kate, you uh, look like a proud mother there. You have the most <laughs> gorgeous little badger cub. Uh, what age is she? She'll probably about eight or nine weeks now. Okay. So she's still just a wee She's still a real thing. baby. Badgers are pretty slow to grow up. She was pretty dehydrated when she was picked up and she's also got lots of lice. But she looks full of beans now, but she, as I presume you've seen an improvement in the last Oh yes, yeah. for the first two or three days she really didn't want to do anything, she was quite lethargic okay. and you know, probably very exhausted, she'd okay. had a pretty trying time for a couple of days, she didn't want to eat anything out of a dish, she didn't know about picking anything up off the ground at all, that was really... Um, something she hadn't come across. What had yeah. happened to the mum, we'll probably never know. They've got a strong instinct to look after their cubs and we've certainly seen that with um, the camera trapping that I've done and other folk have done as well. You always see mums tends to be about when the, the cubs are there. I think she's just keen to go and explore again. We'll, <laughs> we'll let you get her back in or down so she can we'll explore have, a have another little yeah. wander around. The set that I monitor as part of my work, we've found out that we've got three cubs this year. So the last few years we filmed the cubs in the set and we've had twins and this year we've got triplets. A lot of places actually do badger watches so you can sign up um, and go and visit a set that the badgers have been habituated to. You never know, you might be out one day serving for them and, and you see one. <laughs> 